not quite often by their kids. So I'm feeling, you know, nostalgic and a bit of melancholy. It's September. Autumn leaves are now falling. No. Well, they're not really falling yet. We're getting later and later in the leaves falling. But September is symbolic of that, um, that concept of, of death. The leaves do fall, the grass uh, turns brown, dies, fruits and vegetables die. Um, they're just, everything is dying, walking towards that death march. And as we look out, you know, in a couple weeks or a month or so from now, everything will be gray, brown, lifeless, gardens will be filled with weeds. Mother Earth will just be so embarrassed that she'll just throw that fluffy white snow blanket on everything. Oh, I guess we can't call it snow, um, Targaryen blanket on everything. What? No Game of Thrones, folks? Come on! Uh, come on. Anyways, for me, September, um, I'm a social worker. Boo. Um, but I really enjoyed the summer. I, I kind of, you know, put it in low gear and just hung out with my families, had fun, took some time off. September is kind of back to work, though, just like, you know, back to school. Um, and I've, I work with some really cool people. Um, there's two uh, women of color that I work with. They're just the most fantastic folks. Um, funny all the time. In fact, I'm trying to get them out here so that they'll do a bit one night because they're really funny. Um, but besides being funny, you know, they're, they're kind, they're generous, they're always saying to me, you know, what a nice person I am. And they call me beautiful lady. And when we're all hanging out in our big kitchen at work, they dance and, and they have these moves that I just can't do. And, and so we, we talk and they're dancing while we talk. And then when they leave the kitchen, I'm thinking, I gotta, I, I'm gonna get it. And, and so I try to dance like them and I can't. And, and Steve walks into the kitchen and says, Gail, what's the matter? Do you have a Snuggie? And like, I'm so embarrassed, but, but eventually, in a couple months time, I think I'll get up here and I'll be able to dance. Um, so I, I just want to kind of harp back on, on the summer because I relished this last summer. Um, my partner and I, Alyssa's um, dad, um, traveled and we traveled without kids for the first time in I don't know how long, we're always you know, taking along part of our family, grandchildren, son, and so on. But we got to travel <clears throat> on our own. And we went out to um, South Dakota. We went to the Badlands and, and we went to see Crazy Horse. It, it's an incredibly inspiring story. And we went to Sturgis. Has anybody been to Sturgis during the bike rally week? Nobody? Don't go. Like, fuck! Anxiety? Who had anxiety? Like, we drove through Sturgis, and when you just, all of a sudden you're coming into the tiny little city. It's really just a bike city for a week. Um, but when you, you drive in, for, for miles, all you see are bikes in a row and bikers and bike essers or women bikers um, in black leather. And as we drove in, I was just like, shit, Ron, we can't do this. I, you can't park. And, and the stores only during that week are open all night. They're selling t-shirts, black leather jackets, boots, bandanas, blah, 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 blah. But I saw a, a gazillion biker people and bikes and I, I, we can't do this. And so we just drove through and went on to Deadwood. Um, but it was, it was a really nice trip for us. It was relaxing, some, some of it. Um, and when it wasn't, we just, we could actually just say to each other, let's relax. We didn't have kids bugging us or anything. So it was really nice. Um, the other part of my summer, 
was going to a high school reunion. <laughs> and it was, it's 40 years since I graduated. I was 17, figured I was an adult. And um, 1977 was the best year in all of history. I mean, seriously, we had the best music. Our little town was the funnest place to be, I, I kid you not. And so to be able to be with, you know, 70 other people that, that I knew, um, some I knew even before high school. In, in fact, I ran into Jonathan and, and um, we, we knew each other since grade one and, and he used to buy me like chocolate milk and white milk. Um, I was so poor, I couldn't buy milk and every day he'd say, Gail, you forgot to check off the milk thing. And I'd say, I forgot my money again. So he bought me milk um, all through grade one. And then they accelerated him and I, we were separated. Uh, but I got to see him and I got to see a lot of other friends. And um, it was really exciting, you know? And, and um, I, they asked, I've grown and I, I you know, and, um, I think I've more matured, you know, intellectually and emotionally and spiritually. So they asked if I would do the prayer and I did. Um, but before I did the prayer, I said, oh, I just, just want to tell you all that um, my daughter texted me and said, have a great time at the reunion and do some acid. <laughs> <laughs> and they all did, because we all did it. Um, yeah, like that was, that was pretty cool. Um, but anyway, so, so we had this great reunion. We had like a big pig roast with corn and potatoes and just every yummy thing. Um, and then after, after our supper, um, we danced. So we had a live band there from the 70s, like who played 70s music, and it was freaking awesome. Every one of us knows every word to every song from the 70s. Or maybe some of the words we kind of had mixed up, and then, you know, 40 years later, we realized, oh, <laughs> they're not even saying that, they're saying something else. But anyway, so we got up and danced, and I thought, <laughs> because I've been practicing in the kitchen at work, <laughs> that I'm going to pull that, that groovy stuff that my co co-workers do. And I got up on the dance floor. Now, here's the thing about people from the 70s. You fucking hear that music, and you can't help it. You do the same. We all dance the same. But I went up, and I'm trying to do groovy stuff. And the next thing you know, I'm doing the 70s dance, <laughs> and 69 other people are doing the 70s dance. I, it was a lot of fun though. Um, I just want to end with a little story about my sister who I also got to visit um, when I was back home. Um, my sister, uh, I quit smoking a number of months ago. And, um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. A couple months ago, because I started again. God damn it! <laughs> oh. But my sister, my sister, like, she did this, um, she's big like me, and, and she, a few years back, really um, put her mind to losing weight, and she lost a lot of weight. And, um, Anyway, so I, I quit smoking a couple months ago, but when I was back home, I said to my sister, ah, I started smoking again. And she got this little twinkle in her eye, you know, like, it, like you know, don't worry, you'll, you'll be able to do it again. Like, I've, I've quit, you know, several times.